So my name is Wendy Redstar. I am a conceptual artist, um, and I'm originally from Montana. For me, being Crow means that there's a certain set of um, ideologies that I, I go by and that I know. I tend to do a lot of historical research. If there is a museum with a collection, I'll try to go and see that and connect with the curators. For instance, um, here in Omaha, I'm going to be going to the Jocelyn and looking at their Native American collection. Usually through that then uh, a project uh, will be born through uh, that item or an issue that arises and then from there um, I go into the actual making of the project. It can take many forms. Um, very very comfortable in setting up scenes and doing photography I do a lot of sewing, so you'll see a lot of um, costumes or outfits that pertain to the particular research that I'm doing. I also um, like to do collaborative work with my, she'll be nine, my nine-year-old daughter. And so we'll do um, tours, sort of performative tours together. Um, she'll also be in my photographs, and she's very much um, Usually I'll tell her I have an exhibition, she'll say she wants to be part of it, and we'll kind of go from there. Well, I have a solo show that's happening at the Triton Museum in Santa Clara, California. And with that show, and what I've been working here at Bemis is sewing a lot of suits using Pendleton fabric. And Pendleton fabric has a deep history with uh, Native peoples. Well, for this exhibition, I've decided to make six Pendleton suits and I'll likely do a photographic series with that. So, but usually with my photos, what I do is I, I end up building something. Um, I had a very popular series called The Four Seasons where I, I made fake dioramas and um, built those up. And for this series, I'm not quite sure, but right now I have the, the object, which will be the Pendleton suits and something will come about after I actually physically, you know, finish those. And also a thing that I notice a lot when you're, you're going through collections and museums or the Native American um, galleries, there tends to be a focus on warfare and men's objects. I grew up on the Crow Indian Reservation in Montana and I always knew I was Crow, but I always knew that there was this sort of stereotypical Indian that society would want me to be. I think it's something that is so um, ingrained or embedded in the American psyche of what a Native person is because of the Wild West and all of that stuff. One of the things that I've been working on for maybe two years, three years, is these Native Muscleman hats. And it's an image of a, a Native guy with um, his arms up flexing his muscles and he's got two feathers in his hair. I found this image, it's sort of a, it's a stereotypical image but not a typical stereotypical image of a Native man. When you're looking at my work and I talk about Native perspectives and stuff, I'm talking about a, my own personal Crow perspective and the outfit, the traditional outfit that you'll see me wear in some of my photographs is a tr traditional crow outfit. The beadwork and the colors are all crow designs, crow colors. Um, the beading on my trucker hats, like I mentioned, um, are reminiscent of some of my grandmother's geometric designs. For me to take this sort of stereotypical, updated image of a native man and then um, bead it is sort of my kind of re-owning it that I want to put it out in the world um, so that people think more about those kind of blurred lines.